Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is a digital dollar and how can I get my hands on one? Well, a digital dollar is more than just ones and zeros on the computer network. They might actually be more interesting than you think and have some different functionalities. That's what we're going to explore in this video, so let's find out right now. In many countries, the financial systems operate using the electronic form of US dollars, which are held in electronic or digital bank deposits. Now, digital dollars never take physical form and are always stored on a computer network. Trades are also conducted via the internet. Five US central banks will launch digital currency pilots in the near future to promote the US dollar as a form of digital currency around the world following the announcement of the digital dollar project in May 2021. Now, following the explosion of cryptocurrencies in the world, the concept of digital dollars has emerged. As Bitcoin emerged as the first and now the largest cryptocurrency in the world, authorities around the globe are now considering the development of their own digital currencies, with China, the USA, and many others in the race to develop a stable currency that is recognized as legal tender throughout the world. Now, the main difference between the digital dollar and the various cryptocurrencies currently available on the market is that the latter are decentralized assets with a different value than traditional currencies. Like all digital currencies, digital dollars are managed by the Federal Reserve and backed by the government, which means they function like physical money and are worth the same as physical money. Digital dollars are intangible assets valued at acquisition cost. Everything is now digital, which is driving the shift towards digitization. People can make purchases using their electronic devices instead of dollar bills by transferring digital currency to retailers. Transfers of digital dollars will work similarly to popular payment apps such as PayPal, Venmo, and Google Pay. Now, due to the success of decentralized cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, which store value but are not controlled by any authority, world governments are investigating the possibility of creating their own digital currencies, also known as Central Bank Digital Currencies, or CBDC. Several countries are experimenting with digital currencies, such as the Bahamas' San Dollar, which is currently in production, as well as China's Digital Yuan, which was launched in 2014. Digital dollars have the following advantages. First, transferring money internationally will become more affordable. We're all tired with our transfer fees and trying to find the most cost-effective way to transfer from one country to another is a pain in the butt. Second, transactions would not be affected if your bank account was unavailable. No more waiting for banks. Even during the weekends, cryptocurrency can be transferred instead of waiting for your bank to be open on Monday morning. Third, payments will be processed faster, often in minutes or even seconds. Fourth, refunds of taxes and other payments from the government will be more efficient. Fifth, a dollar-denominated cryptocurrency backed by the U.S. central banks would have a value of exactly one dollar. After all, it is a government-backed dollar. Now, crypto assets pegged to the U.S. dollar, such as stablecoins like USDT and USDC, will compete with the digital dollar. Due to the digital currency age started by cryptocurrencies, the current banking system is facing an existential threat. So what do you guys think about central bank digital currencies? Do you think they're going to be a hit in the future or will they flop like the rest of the cryptocurrencies that never make it? As always, guys, join our Telegram if you want to know more information about DeFi or anything cryptocurrency and stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.